there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. Underdog, exhausted from saving a sinking ocean liner, was now struggling mightily against Simon Bar Sinister's powerful vacuum gun. You got him, boss. You got Underdog. <laughs> of course I got him, Cad. And now I'll fix it so we never have to worry about him again. Or sweet Polly. <laughs> While we're stealing all the money in the country, the tank will be filling up with water, and that will be the end of Underdog and Sweet Polly Purebred. <laughs> Boss, you're a genius. <laughs> of course. All right, Army. Prepare to move out. You'll, you'll take Chicago, Minneapolis, and St. Paul. Riff. You'll take Las Vegas, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. Batty man, you'll take Boston, Buffalo, and Binghamton. Cad and I will take care of the rest. Now, Simon says, Army, forward! So it was that very soon in a bank in Chicago, Simon says, come here. Meanwhile, what of Underdog and Sweet Polly Purebred? Oh, Underdog, it's not bad enough that we are in this truck with all this trash. Now water is pouring in. Do something. That sinking ship took my strength away. But the pill in my ring will save the day. Your ring? The secret compartment of my ring I fill with an underdog super energy pill. Your ring! It's gone! There's no ring on your finger. When I was pulled into all this debris, the ring must have fallen off of me. I'll dive down and try to find the ring. It's our only chance. Meanwhile, Riff Raff had arrived at Las Vegas. <laughs> Simon says, uh, come here. I found something round and it's made of metal. Underdog, maybe it's your ring. Oh, no. It's an automobile hubcap. If at first you fail your deed, try again till you succeed. And in Boston, Batty Man had arrived with a vacuum gun. A beautiful armored car. Simon says, come here. Perfect. I found something. I found a ring. Maybe it's yours. Oh, no, it's... It's only a link of chain. I'll never find your ring. Never give up while you can fight. You'll win if you do right. That's good news, Army. Good news. You hear that, Cad? My Army's done it. Now I have all the money in America. 
and I shall rule the country. <laughs> Will Polly find Underdog's ring? The answer lies ahead in our next exciting episode. My favorite cheese. Do you have to use it to bait the trap? <laughs> Don't you worry, Major Miner. Savoir Fair won't steal it. <laughs> this trap is foolproof. I'll just put the cheese on the trap, then set it like. Uh, uh, I'll set it like this. Uh, 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 Try again. Uh, 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 now! Fasten. The latch. There. When that Savoir Fair touches that cheese, ka-snap! You know, I'll have them! Aha! <laughs> uh -huh, my favorite cheese. Mm, it looks like a trap, but of course I am too fast for any trap. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah! <laughs> At last I've got you! <laughs> Claudine Cat always gets his mouth! Wait, 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 no! I've got a special cell for you! In you go! <laughs> now, you're never gonna get out of there! The walls are three feet thick! The door is solid steel! Yeah, I've got you this time, Savoir Fair. You'll never get out. You are right. But what about you, Klondike? What about me? What are you going to do now that I am locked up? Do? Well, I'll chase... Uh, I'll chase... Uh, mm. There is no one else. Your job was always to catch me. With me caught, you'll have no more job. They'll fire you. No job! You're all right now, Savoir Fair. Out. No? No? I won't escape unless you give me the cheese. Now, listen, Mouse, you get out of there. No? Well, I'm coming in there and throw you out. Give me the cheese, and I'll be glad to escape. Never! <laughs> I'll just smoke him out. <laughs> Savoir is everywhere. Mm, I'll make mincemeat out of that mouse. Give me the cheese, Klondike, and I will go. Never. <laughs> I'll fool that mouse. All right, Savoir Fair, you win. Here's the cheese. Just let me check. Now, you're going to escape whether you like it or not. Uh, pardon. Huh? Savoir Fair is everywhere. All right, that does it. You're going to stay in there. Ah, but Klondike, with me in here, you'll be out of a job. I've been a fool. I can't let you escape. I'm an officer of the law. The bars, Malamot. The bars. Klondike! Klondike! Yeah, I know, Major Miner. The Savoir Fair locked up, there's no more need for me. Nonsense, Klondike. Savoir Fair has just escaped and stolen my cheese. Yeah, whoopee! <laughs> You'll make mincemeat out of that mouse! And... 
Bondi Cat always gets his mouse. Deep in the forest grows a tall, tall tree. Uh, of course, it was a short tree, but it uh, grew. And down at the bottom of that tree, there's a little old box that's really the home of Mr. Wizard the Lizard. <laughs> yes? What's that? It's Tooter the Turtle, Mr. Wizard. I got another favor to ask. Come in, come in, my boy. Today it's good to wars. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, it's right and oh, it's me. Please, Tudor, stop! Stop! Oh, sorry, Mr. Wizard. I guess I just sort of ran away with myself. <laughs> yes, indeed, Tudor. But why? What is you wanting to be today? One of them uh, mounty police, Mr. Wizard. I just know I'd be good at it. But Tudor, my boy, that's a job for a big, strong man. Oh, please, Mr. Wizard. Please, let me try. Oh, well, all right. But I will be mighty right. The first thing to get to be the Royal Mountie is to pass the test given by the Chief of the Mounties. So you want to join the Mounties, eh? Yes, sir. All right, mister. A few of our best Mounties always give new recruits a test. If they decide you stand up well under the test, you're in. If not, out. Just step into that room. Yes, sir. <laughs> Passes, Chief. Boy, oh boy, I'd sure hate to see what them fellows that fail look like. All right, mister, you've passed. You're a Mountie now, and you've got to go get your man. Mounties always get their man. But, uh, I don't uh, have a man, Chief. Oh, yes, yes. That's right. Here. This is a picture of Black Bark, the meanest crook in the whole Northwest. Go get him, now. Yes, sir. Whoa, horse, uh, wait up just a big minute. Uh, oh, uh, I don't even know where Black Bark is. <laughs> well, here I am. I'll get you, Black Bark. The Smellies always get our man. Here I come, Black Bark. You ready or not? <laughs> How you bearing up, Mounty? You won't laugh long, Black Bark. Us Mounties always get our man. So the chase was on again. Soon there was so much snow that the horses could not go on. But the smart Mountie is always prepared with the special shoes for the snow. Now I'll get Black Bark for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm a shoe in to get away, Mountie. In spite of all the troubles, the brave Mounty would never give up the chase. And soon things was turning for the better, for the black bark had reached the top of the mountain. The other side was the steep drop, so black bark was trapped, and the brave Mounty was not far behind. I know you're up there, black bark, and I'm a gonna get you. Come ahead, Mounty. We'll fight it out man to man. Uh Put him off guard. <laughs> oh, just give me old college tackle. Help, Mr. Wizard. I got my man. Tudor, Tudor, that's no man. Trizzle, 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 drum. Time for this one to come home. Uh, gee, Mr. Wizard, looks like I made a mess out of things again. 
<laughs> always, always, I tell you, Tudor, be just what you is, not what you is not. Folks, what you is, has the happiest lot. Vacuum guns, we've stolen all the money in America, and I shall be ruler of the country. All right, Electric Eel, Riff Raff, Batty Man, all of you, and your men. Simon says, bring the money to my compound, and hurry. Roger, Simon, over and out. Hey, Roger, Simon, over and out. Roger, Simon, who's that? Oh, yes, yes, Simon, right the way. Hello out there in TV land. This is O.J. Squeeze, filling in for your favorite TV reporter, Sweet Polly Purebred, who is still missing. Word from the White House is expected any moment about the national emergency, which has been caused by Simon Boss Sinister and his gang stealing all the money in this country. Meanwhile, we understand the army has been called out to try and stop Simon's vacuum gang. All right, men, there come the trucks. When I give the command, open fire. Remember your orders, army. Simon says, make them come here. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. Yeah, boss, and this time you didn't have to worry about Underdog. I found it, Underdog. I have your ring here. The secret compartment of my ring I fill with an Underdog Super Energy Pill. Oh. Hello? Hello? need to fear, Underdog is here. I'll take care of you, Underdog. Okay, Underdog. Let's see how you like a little lead from my machine gun. Take care of Underdog, for I am never alone. Get him, Bats! He's winning, boss. He's flattening every one of them. <laughs> but remember my vacuum gun, Cad. It stopped him before, and it will stop him again. Simon says, come here! But this time, Underdog had his powerful strength, and this time, the vacuum gun was no match for him. With his mighty atomic breath, Underdog inhaled. It was a battle of Underdog's atomic breath versus Simon's mighty vacuum gun. And Underdog won! <laughs> Simon and his army were defeated. The money was returned to all the cities where it belonged. And then, once more, everyone could look up and say, It's a plane! It's a bird! It's a fool! A frog? Not plane, nor bird, nor even frog. It's just little old me, un... <laughs> Underdog. <laughs>